what is PCR PCR is polymerase chain reaction PCR is polymerase chain reaction which is an in vitro process of amplifying amplifying DNA means multiplication of DNA by using enzyme DNA polymerase So PCR full form is polymerase chain reaction. It is an in vitro process. In this process, DNA is amplified by using uh, DNA polymerase into millions of copies. That to in vitro means in vitro means any reaction reaction steps done in laboratory which normally occurs inside living beings now coming to the steps steps of PCR what are the steps First is denaturation. Denaturation. Second is annealing. I'll discuss the steps in detail. Then third step is extension of DNA and fourth one purification or isolation or separation separation of amplified DNA strands or fragments from non ampli once. Now coming to the components required. What all is required uh, for this reaction? DNA polymerase primer that is ok I will discuss this also in detail primer then incubator in which uh, the temperature is maintained etc and also and incubator first you must write nucleotides template DNA strand and incubator now what is D Naturation. As we know, denaturation means breaking hydrogen bonds. Denaturation is the process of breaking hydrogen bonds. So, what uh, happens in denaturation? First, let me write steps. Steps. 
Number one, denaturation is breaking age bonds. During this step, high double stranded DNA is exposed to high temperature so that denaturation occurs leading to formation of single stranded DNA which acts as template. Each of which acts as template strand. Now coming to the next step. That is annealing. Annealing means addition. With each template strand, primer is added at the 3 prime end so that <coughs> DNA polymerase can come and bind with the primer. Now coming to the next step that is extension of DNA. Third step extension. With the help of DNA polymerase that is used is TAC polymerase. T-A-Q. TAC polymerase. I will explain why TAC polymerase nucleotide, deoxyribonucleotides, nucleotides comes and attaches one by one after one after another forming newly synthesized DNA strand. This is repeated thirty times. This these These three steps are repeated 30 times to obtain approximately approximately 1 million billion Sorry, one billion copies of desirable DNA fragment. So, as you can see, this is the double stranded DNA. Here, first step this is double stranded DNA, as you can see. Region to be amplified, as you can see, given in pink color. Uh, heat is applied as a result double stranded DNA breaks into single stranded DNA and uh, then annealing primer is added as you can see five uh, at three prime end at both the template strand then DNA polymerase and deoxynucleotides are added 
that uh, helps in extension that is the third step so uh, it's amplified then this is repeated 30 times 30 cycles uh, which uh, give rise to as you can see here amplified it is amplified uh, mm, approximately 1 billion times this is repeated 30 times now coming to the role of TAC polymerase what is TAC polymerase and why TAC polymerase is used instead of normal po DNA polymerase why TAC polymerase is used in PCR instead of normal DNA polymerase means polymerase obtained from any other source answer is TAC polymerase is a uh, type of DNA polymerase obtained from thermostable bacterium thermos aquaticus this is thermostable which can tolerate higher temperature higher temperature than normal type of uh, uh, normal type of DNA polymerase 90 degree C and that is the amount of heat in the first step heat is ap applied for denaturation that's why TAC polymerase is preferred instead of uh, thermostable polymerase now coming to the next point that is primer what is primer primer is small as you can see here primer is chemically synthesized oligonucleotides which are complementary to a specific regions of DNA so primer is primer used in PCR is chemically synthesized short oligonucleotide which is complementary to DNA specific specific region of DNA means uh, uh, near the three prime end the primer which uh, chemically uh, synthesized oligonucleotide acts as primer and it is um, complementary to the three prime end of each template strand so that it can come and bind with the three prime end and uh, uh, DNA polymerase can add the primers because TAC polymerase or any other DNA polymerase cannot initiate any uh, polymerization reaction DNA replication cannot be initiated by DNA polymerase.